What's up folks, welcome back to Beyblade or Burst. I'm your host, Michael Nightwing, and today we are unboxing this random booster from 2003. It's a Magna Core system random booster, and I'm super excited for you all to see exactly what's inside of this because I actually don't know either. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. But first, I wanna show you these are my stickers here. I got some Bladers Kingdom stickers to give away for the tournament on the 22nd. I'm super stoked because a couple pokes, a couple pokes, a couple folks asked for stickers to put on their Beyblade boxes, so here we go. Also, if you're interested, let me know if you want to see a video talking about my case, my Beyblade case. It's a little in shambles right now, but if you're interested in seeing a video on how I put this thing together, let me know. It's actually super easy, and this one probably only costs you about uh, 70 bucks, but I have some cheaper alternatives as well if you're interested. So with that being said, folks over on TikTok are here. Hey, what's up, Jonas? All right, let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing. So this one here should have Blizzard Orthros. So I have Blizzard Orthros. Orth Orth I don't know what, I can't pronounce it. But this is the Hasbro version. Um, funny thing about the Hasbro one, if I'm not mistaken, let me just make sure this is Hasbro. This is Takara, yeah. Takara 2003, Hasbro 2004. What's funny is like this Beyblade, this one right here, the prize Beyblade, didn't actually have an engine gear. Apparently, when this one came out on the Hasbro side, they were just giving every Beyblade an engine gear, even though it didn't have one in the cartoon, which is obviously totally fine with me, but that's just a thing that they were doing, which is pretty funny. Uh, let me put this right here so y'all can see how cool that looks. Boom. All right, so it's either gonna have the Blizzard Red Drigger V2, a yellow metal Dronzer, a blue Flash Leopard, or a red Dronzer V2. Uh, and there's a number two on the box, so maybe it comes with two. I gotta do some translations on this, but it might actually come with two Beyblades per box. Yeah, see right here? See, like this one, it came with that driver, not a engine gear. Uh -huh. I hope it's not Metal Dronzer because I just ordered one. And, well, I mean, I can always have some extras since these things keep breaking. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. Let's see what we got. Oh, and it's yellow, so that's Metal Dronzer. All right, so we have a Metal Dronzer. And what's that one? Ooh, okay, and we have a Dronzer V2, the red Dronzer V2. All right, so what's cool about the Dronzer V2 is it comes with the auto change base. And then this one is just a standard, nothing fancy about it, but it actually is missing a weight disc, which is weird. That's really weird, there's no weight disc with this. All right, well, let's put Metal Dronzer together first, since we're already looking at it. Luckily, I have extra weight disc laying around, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal. All right, so, yeah, that's so weird. Like, there should be a weight disc that sits right here. But we got this one, so I'll actually I'm gonna throw on that one. All right, so let's put this thing together, and let's see what we got. Ooh. I like that. Okay, so maybe, maybe I was wrong. I'm looking at the instructions here, and it looks like, so it doesn't show a weight disc on any of these. I don't know what this says right here but there's only showing four weight discs, which means that metal Dronzer may not have come with a weight disc, which to me makes zero sense. Like, why not? But who am I? Uh, I showed you how to put everything together, how to put Dronzer, or all the pieces together that need to be together, where to put stickers. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it just honestly didn't come with a weight disc and that was the way it was designed. Because this package was sealed up pretty tightly. So nothing, there was no foul play in that one. So that's very weird. But let's put this thing back. Finish put this thing back. Yeah, so yeah, this is uh, coming together pretty well. I'm gonna put the metal Dronzer piece in there. I'm excited for when metal Dronzer shows up in the cartoon, because I've been watching the first season so far. That's coming to an end soon. I'm gonna watch the second season. Honestly, I forgot how silly I forgot how silly uh, the Beyblade cartoon was. Like, in one of the episodes, like the most recent episode, like they were fighting with Kai in the middle of like a frozen lake. And like Max 
parachuted out of a private jet to battle with them on the middle of this private lake. It was the weirdest thing ever. I'm like, what? And then Kai just left. Like he left as they were like, once the battle was over, he just kind of left them there on this frozen lake in like the north of Russia. And I'm like, what? Like who thought of this storyline? All right, so we got this together. So now we just gotta put the whole Beyblade together. So we gotta put the metal weight spin gear. And this is like super flat. So it's gonna be definitely an attack type. I'm gonna slide this in here. And then this one goes in here. And that clips in the spin gear. And then as you know, you can you know, put it in here, the spin gear, left or right spin, so that you can have a left or right spinning Beyblade, depending on you know what you want to utilize. Then the weight disc, and boom, we have uh oh, come on, slide. there we go. And we have metal Dronzer, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna put together the next one, which is Dronzer V2. That's gonna be a good one to put together. This one comes with a weight disc though. Ooh. All right, so red Dronzer V2, this is gonna be interesting because I don't know anything about this base. Oh, never mind, that was easy. All right, well, that's simple. I was supposed to think better. No. So with the V2 series, like they had attachments you can put in for the Beyblades so that they had like different base actions. So with bigger V2, it was like a downward swoop thing. Um, and then with Dragoon V2, it was like spikes. So it looks like this one, you just flip it north or south if you want to, to give it more attack or less attack or more life after death, life after death. I said life after death. This is life after death. All right, let's open this up. All right, so let's put all the stickers on this and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of stickers, but we gotta make it do what it do, baby. So this sticker here for the bottom says support part cross survivor and it looks a lot like the cross frame that they gave it on so that's where they got this from but i don't think it's going to go on i think the sticker might be a little too old so that's the one thing about these blades like the stickers are so old that the adhesive is not as sticky as they used to be these things like the stickers just won't survive battles or just being put together in general but we're still going to go for it Unlike Burst, these blades look really dull when I was there. All right, so putting the final touches on this bad boy here, Just putting the last few bits in, and then we can put these things to the test. Now, Dronzer here, Dronzer V2, has the Auto Changer Base, which is essentially the reboot base from Beyblade Burst. Wow. So, we got this here, we put the Cross Survivor, so this is the Support, Support Parts Cross Survivor. It's like the cross frame to give it a little bit more life after death. I'm sure the stickers don't really help with that, but who knows? And then we have Dronzer V2, which is a right spin. So we put that bad boy in here and turn it, turn it, turn it. And there we go. We have put together Dronzer V2, the red version from this random booster from 2003. Doof, 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 doof. All right, uh, doof, doof. All right, so now it's time to put these into the stadium so we can see them battle because that's the most important part of having Beyblades is to battle them. People that do not battle their Beyblades, I do not know how they do it. Like I can't just, how do you have a spinning top toy that you just sit on the floor? Let's make sure everything's in focus. All right, looks good. So we're gonna launch Metal Dronzer. So I'm gonna launch Metal Dronzer first so we can see how it looks. It's a whole flat. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be ferocious.
All right. And now I want to see how Dronja V2 moves with the auto changer. So yes, the tip is out. So right now it's in stamina mode. And then what should happen is it starts to slow down. It should move over into more of an attack pattern. So I'm gonna give it a second to see how it does that. Any second now. Any second now. In. Oh, yeah, great. All right, so it stayed, stayed spinning for a while, but I'm guessing it's not having any contact, so. Okay. Yeah, the tip is still, this is crazy. All right, insane amount of stamina for a Dronja V2. Wow. So, all right, so by the time this tip goes in, it's not gonna have any, like, attack stamina, though. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna have any stamina for attack once the tip goes in. I think the tip went in, but now it's, like I said, there's no, there's no juice left. Yeah, the tip went in, but that was it, no stamina. All right, well, let's see how it does in battle. And then metal Dronzer. Nice, nice, come on, come on, come on. Get some hits in. Come on, Dronzer V2. It's coming in. Ah, Drones V2 is not giving me like the attack that I was hoping for. It's really not. It's really a solid stamina piece. But no. Yeah, I'm not feeling these attacks. All right, so just for comparison, I want to show you all the, this is the Dronzer V2 we just unboxed, and this is the Dronzer V2 Burst Remake. So as you see here, same size and everything. Same size, and then they also gave it the cross frame. Now there are stickers that go on the bottom, but I didn't put them on. And it comes with the, oops, zero disc with a cross frame, because this is what this is called, Cross Survivor. And then for the driver, it came with Reboot Dash regular reboot dash. So, I did a pretty solid job making this into a burst version. All right, let's do another one. Actually, you know what, let's try the burst version versus the plastic gym. Let's see how that does. That was easy. Yeah, so Dronzer V2, the original, the red one, doesn't really have the, it doesn't really have the attack pattern, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, it just doesn't have the attack pattern. Against metal Dronzers. Oh, that's a good hit. Oh, nice, nice. Come on. Wow. Okay, so that was an undercut hit. That's nice, though. Oh! 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 Wow. That was what you call a KO. That was insane. Wow. That was nuts. Nice. Oh, good hit. Alexa, time. Nice. Hope you your Monday. Hey, uh, X.X.X. Danny, no, the winner has not been announced yet. It's only been like three days. Nice. 
That was the unboxing for this random booster Valium something. I don't know what Valium random booster this is. I'm gonna look it up and try and put it in the title. But that is the unboxing of this random booster here from 2003. And we were able to pull Dronzer V2 and Metal Dronzer. Now I do have another box of this and I have a feeling it might be Drigger V2 and Flash Leopard, but we'll have to see when we unbox it. And uh, yeah, so do me a solid favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video. If you can, please go home and tell your mommy lover. That's really important and it's really amazing. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next video, all right? See ya. All right. That is one YouTube video that has concluded.